welcome again to Life with Jennifer J. And I am your girl, Auntie Jen. My viewers, my friend, and my subscriber. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's go. Shame and scandal in the family. Wife in a court. Husband in a court. One for land. One for Karen. Them salary no match up to the amount of money. Here we go. Disproportion. That's how we go. Mm. Anyway. You know I'm trying to deny everything and I've taken it to the courts and the court the court now and your wholeness versus integrity commission court hearing set for November 7th so the court will be called up November 7th Let me just see November 7th the first leg of Prime Minister Andrew Olness bid to have an Integrity Commission IC report and its final affair invalidated is set for November 7th in the Supreme Court. Olness through his legal team will try to convince a judge to give him permission to apply for a judicial review of the investigation and its associated final report released by Parliament on September 17. A judicial review is used by the court to assess whether action taken by a public entity was fair and legal. Other details on the hearing, such as who will be the presiding judge, will be announced closer to the date, which is the normal practice of the court. So we don't know which judge yet of a rule. Don't run the court. Allness applied to the Supreme Court on September 30 for several administrative order, including the review. In the controversial 171-page report, the IC Director of Investigation, Kevin Stevenson, said he could not conclude on the question of illicit enrichment. I like unexplained finance dis discrepancies, discrepancies in Olness 21 income filing and raised questions about tax compliance and taxation over 470 million involving connected companies and tax compliance. Oh, la, la, da, 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 da. Oh, I hear where the court are going to really step on this. The IC, which said it could not certify the income declaration, referred the matter to the Financial Investigation Division, citing Olness' failure to provide expense detail. Mr. Olness, we didn't just provide it. We never just provide enough about a gar court. But Olness had denied any wrongdoing, claiming that the report is flawed and fairly suggested unethical and criminal conduct by him and affiliated firms he want the supreme court to determine to terminate all investigation into its financial affair invalidate the report strike down the provision of the integrity commission act and declare section of the corruption prevention act used to probe illicit enrichment as unconstitutional. We want to see we say, we say, we follow this case as so much because we want to see what the court is going to say. Olness is company Imperium Investment Holding Limited and two other connecting entities, Positive Media Solution Limited and Positive Jamaica Foundation are seeking judicial review. Their case is being led by King Counsel Georgia Gibson of the law firm Ellen Gibson Ellen. The respondent are two senior executives of the commissioner, 
Director of Information and Compliance, Craig Beresford, first respondent, and Director of Investigation, second respondent, and the Commissioner itself, third respondent. The firm Hilton Powell is representing IC and its official. The lead attorney is King Counsel Michael Hilton, a former solic Solicitor General of Jamaica. Oh Lord Jesus, people of Jamaica and whoever, whatever it is, I am tired to come and to don't have good things to say. And then now, the same labor right them say, oh, all you have to do is talk bad about the JLP. But anytime there's anything good, you tell me what I must say and then I have to say. Because all of them are something we are going. It's new to me. And as old as me, I never said them are something before. So no need for tell me. Yes, you have to tell me what is the good thing I have to say. One thing I can tell you, this news is not good. This not look good for the, the head of state, the leader of government, the prime minister of Jamaica. I feel like I got caught for a try for proof for prove say him not guilty of can providing statement of his expenditures and with 470 million me some on a talk about a nine million dollar on a read the investigation you know? it's a whole heap of discrepancy in it and him feel like saying forget away with it well we're going to watch though all eyes are on the court that's where we're going to focus our attention now to see what the court will do or say because I don't know how you're going to ask the court for shut down the law of the land, for please you. You better, I don't know, make me, me, me say, because I'm not a liar, I don't know how we go. So, we just wait and see how this one will unfold. But trust me, it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good. Let me say though. It's not look good. So leave on the views, leave on a comment. Tell me what I think about the Prime Minister going to court on November 9th to try to get the court to chop down the law of Jamaica or the law that governs the Integrity Commission to probe public official that it was not done right. And you want the court to chuck it down. Tell me, uh, actually, tell me what I think the court will do. What will the court do? Will the court look into it? Will the court chuck it down? It is left to see. Give me your view and your opinion. The conversation continues. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Like with Jennifer J.M. And I am your girl, Auntie Jen. Whoosh, catch you next time.